Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. This is going to be a really quick video talking about the AVCrypt ransomware. As far as I'm aware, this ransomware is not one that's in the wild or being propagated for the purposes of profit. It doesn't really make sense because it doesn't have any email credentials or payment method in order to sell recovery to the victims. Now, what it does do, apparently, is remove certain AV programs using the Windows Management Interface, which is kind of interesting. It specifically targets Malwarebytes and Windows Defender, first disabling their services and then going on to uninstall them entirely. The method used will not work against a lot of AV solutions that have good self-protection, but it's interesting that this kind of a thing is being attempted. I have read people suggesting that this was intended for uh, security research purposes or somebody was just trying to see if they could exploit AV programs in a certain way. I'm not completely sure on that, but we do have the sample, so we're just going to run it and see what it does to our VM. It does seem to work like a traditional ransomware in the sense that it does encrypt your data. And we will see that in a moment. As you can see, it does have prompts asking you to continue. And I assume if you don't press OK, it's not going to encrypt the data. The strings here are quite interesting. Select star from AV programs, which means select all, kind of suggests it has some kind of database. As you can see, it's trying to turn off user account control as well. And if we take a look at our files now, huh, they're still here. It's taking its own sweet time. But as you can see, um, we do have Malwarebytes listed here and Microsoft Security Essentials. What's so special about Malwarebytes, though? I understand Windows Defender, but eh, who knows? It seems to have turned off Windows Security Center service, which is interesting. Maybe encryption is the last thing in its chain of events. Now we have a ransom note. Doesn't provide any information. And our files are encrypted as well. So I guess it first gets rid of your AV program, disables security center, and user account control, and then proceeds to encrypt your files. If you want to unlock it, well, LOL, too bad for you. Now, I did notice that it created a process which was named after the user, so for me it was named Leo, which is funny, I guess. But that seems to be it when it comes to mischief from this malware. Whether or not we'll see real-world samples attempting this in the future is an open question. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Peace Security channel. This is Leo, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.